off tonight, I'd like to do a meditation. This meditation is one that comes from spiritual scripture of a certain tradition called Swami Narayan. I have the scripture with me. It actually comes in many parts. This is just one part. Here's the part. Their spiritual scripture is called the Vachana Amrut. There's a wonderful meditation in the Ahmedabad section, the very first passage from the Ahmedabad section of the Vachana Amrut, called Miraculous Meditation. It's a meditation on the sun and moon, and I'd love to go through it with you. I'll just quickly read this passage. It's only a few pages, and as you can see, the, the pages are not very big. <laughs> This is a mini book, and then we'll do the meditation. On Mahavadhi the 11th, Samvat 1882, or the 4th of March 1826 in our calendar, Swami Sri Sahajanandji Maharaj was sitting facing west in the Mandir of Shri Narnarayan in Ahmedabad. Shri Swami Sri Sahaja, Swami Sri Sahajananji Maharaj, also known as Swami Narayan, is considered a, a divine personality that came into the territory of Gujarat in the turn of the 19th century in India. And so he is the one who is going to deliver this meditation to us. At the time, he was dressed entirely in white clothes. Garlands of roses adorned his neck. Bunches of roses had been placed upon his ears, and tassels of roses also decorated his pug. At that time, an assembly of munis, scholars, as well as devotees from various places had gathered before him. In the assembly, Sriji Maharaj sat, introspecting, he then opened his eyes, looked at the assembly and said, I wish to talk to all of you about a particular type of meditation that has also been described in the Moksha Dharma, a certain spiritual, scriptural tradition on Moksha, liberation and Dharma, righteous duty. I have seen many great people who have attained enlightenment through this type of meditation. In fact, even in my experience, among the countless types of meditation, there is none comparable to the particular type of meditation that I wish to tell you about now. Just as a miraculous mantra or medicine is intrinsically miraculous, similarly the type of medication or meditation I wish to describe to you also has an intrinsically miraculous nature by which one instantly attains enlightenment. Now I shall describe that meditation. One who performs this meditation should meditate on the sun in the right eye and the moon in the left eye. Then while meditating in this way, the sun and moon begin to appear in the eyes exactly as they are in the sky. As a result, the right eye begins to heat up and the left eye begins to cool down. Thereafter, the sun should be envisioned in the left eye and the moon should be envisioned in the right eye. After visualizing in this manner, the sun and moon should be visualized within one's hridaya kasha, one's heart space, hridaya kasha. In addition, the form of one's own jiva, soul, the observer, should also be seen. One should also meditate on the divine who resides within the observer, i.e. within one's own jiva, soul. At that point, one's body, which is full of worldly desires, is felt to rotate in the sky, like a pulley mechanism used for drawing water from a well. 
Eventually, a person who meditates in this manner attains the darshan, the divine sight, of the divine's Vishwarup form, the form that pervades the entirety of the universe, within which they see also the system of the fourteen realms, the various layers of reality. That form is not seen as being extremely large. It is seen in the same way that Margandeya, Rishi, a certain seer, saw the entire Brahmand universe in the stomach of the child form of the divine sleeping on a leaf of the banyan tree. Having meditated in this way, one is able to see everything that is described in the scriptures. Thereafter, all remaining Gnostic feelings of doubt towards the divine. Within one's Jivatma, individual soul, are resolved and the Jiva, the soul, becomes extremely powerful. In addition, one develops a firm conviction that whatever is stated in the scriptures is true. The eight yogic powers, namely subtleness, etc., become accessible to one who performs this meditation, and one's vision reaches as far as the rays of the sun and moon reach. In this manner, countless yogic powers manifest before that person. But because they are a devotee of the divine, they do not accept any of these powers. Instead, they meditate only on the divine. As a result, the performer of this meditation attains enlightenment like Narada, the Devarishi, the seer of the divine, the Sanakadik, which are the four children of the Creator, and Shukaji, which is the son of the compiler of the Vedic scriptures. Thus, there are countless varieties of meditation but only this meditation grants instant enlightenment. After Sriji Maharaj concluded this description, Muktanan Swami asked, Is this meditation attained only by one who practices the pranayam, the breathing techniques of Ashtanga Yoga, the Eightfold Yoga system, or can it be attained by others as well? Sriji Maharaj explained, it does not matter whether one practices pranayam or not, only if one practices this meditation and is an ekantik bhakta, an absolute devotee of the divine, can one perfect it. Other people, however, may be unable to tread this path. Therefore, for those who are eligible for this meditation, there is no alternative method for instantly becoming enlightened other than the method of meditation that I have just described. Alright, now we will begin. I'm going to turn down the uh, the background music. Sri Ji Maharaj did not mention in what position to have your body or how long to keep it there. So I'll try to keep this within five to ten minutes for you. But sit in a meditation posture that feels right for you. Typically this means sitting cross-legged with our back supported or unsupported and keeping our head upright. If you have medical considerations, that is understandable. And the exact position is not the focus of this meditation. always important to bring awareness to the breath, just as Muktanand Swami felt the need to ask, given that meditation has a lot to do with our breath. 
whether one has to do pranayama or not, breath control. Sriji Maharaj said, not necessary, but I say, do keep your breath nice and prolonged. Start with deep inhales and let your exhales come naturally. We will begin by visualizing the sun, Surya, within the right eye. Imagine the sun, the great ball of fire in the right eye, superheated plasma with thermonuclear fusion at its core. Imagine the sun sitting inside your eye. Perhaps you can imagine a model of the solar system in your right eye, a miniature, and at the center is the sun. Or if it's easier, you can imagine that instead of having your right eye, you had a very small sun which was seated in your right eye socket. Feel the blazing heat emanate from your right eye, illuminating your inner solar system, your inner world. Continue to meditate on the essential qualities of the sun as situated in your right eye. As I introduce the moon, Chandra, as situated in or as your left eye. Right eye as sun, left as moon. Consider the cool rays of the moon. We get sunlight from the sun, but moonlight from the moon. It does not carry as much heat as the sun. It is said that moonlight contains soma, the nectar of immortality, amrita, which is necessary for many functions of life on earth. We need both moonlight and sunlight. Feel your left eye getting colder. Perhaps you feel or see blueness on your left side and redness on your right. Cold and heat, darkness and light. situated in each respective eye. Try to visualize each form simultaneous. Recognize the face of the moon. See that in your left eye. And see the form of the sun in your right with its gold rays emanating outward, with its corona. Perhaps you see all of the different grains of plasma on the surface of the sun. Perhaps you see sunspots One mantra for the sun goes like this. Om. 
सूर्याय नम सूर्याय नम seed syllable of cosmic creation preservation dissolution and the interspace beyond sum the seed syllable of the sun suryaya sun to thee namaha salutations surya to a game of telephone does become the name of sun in english for the moon there is the mantra it goes like this om som som ay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som som ay namaha Som is the seed syllable for moonlight Som ay means moonlight to thee namaha salutations as we consider the form of the sun in our right eye and left and moon in our left eye we can switch up these mantras if you know them you can chant along with me otherwise you can just listen Om sum suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om sum suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om sum suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha Om som suryay namaha Om som som ay namaha And we can switch instantaneously putting now in the cold eye this light of the sun and in our heated eye the cold moon swapping moon for sun sun for moon we make the right eye the abode of chandra the moon and our left eye surya abode of sun feeling the energies now balance out feel the blazing light of the sun in your left eye where the moon once was and the damp cooling nature of the moon in our right eye where the sun 
once was. Let them swap places. The sun and moon represent two antakaranas, two inner faculties. The moon represents the mind, the sun, your consciousness. Just like how the sun illumines the moon, Consciousness illumines the mind. Just like how the sun is unchanging, but the moon goes through phases, the consciousness is unchanging. The mind goes through phases. Flip the sun and moon. Ida Bingala. Rotate them around your spine. The Sushumna. The axis. Continue to swap the places of the sun and moon. Sun right, moon left. Sun left, moon right. Sun right, moon left. Rotate sun and moon around the axis of your spine watching them pass in and out of each eye with your inner eye. Feel these celestial bodies rotating in you. As the sun moves through each eye, feel fire, light, unchanging consciousness. As the moon passes through each eye, Feel the damp, cold quality, the changing phases of one's mind. Allow your gaze to ascend beyond them, and consequently, the sun and moon to descend into your hurdayakasha, your heart. Hrdaya, space, akasha. Watch the sun and moon as they descend into your heart and feel yourself rising above them. Beyond chitta, the inner light of consciousness of the sun, beyond manas, The mirror of the mind, go above them and let them sink into your heart. Feel the sun and moon, they are your twin flames. Shiva and Shakti, Yin and Yang. Prakriti and Purusha. Feel them descend beneath you as you enter a state of oneness, being pulled like a pulley into the space above the Jidakasha, space of your consciousness.
visualize your jiva, your soul as the observer. And in that jiva, you find the divine, the same divine that pervades the whole universe, giving it all a divine form, Vishwarupa. slowly, ever so slowly, as slow as possible without forcing yourself, open your eyes. And that'll conclude this meditation. I pray that you find it helpful and add it to your inner assortment of meditations for you to choose from next time. Namaste.